Go ahead and fire away. Andrew, um, you, you've had a really nice season uh, this season. Your, your efficiency is at a career high. Your defense is probably the best of your career. Um, but for whatever reason, it seems like you're still getting some criticism from the talking heads out there. Uh, Stephen A. Smith said what he said the other day. Um, how do you how do you deal with that? How do you do you just kind of tune it out when you when you hear things despite the season you're having? Um, I just keep pushing forward. Um, there's always going to be there's always going to be people, you know that, uh, you know, are going to say negative things, whether it's you know constructive criticism or you know or not. Uh, some things are positive, some things are negative, you know. But I'm just going to keep pushing, you know, either way. You know, just keep trying to get better. Second round semifinals appearance, and I think I'd give it better than a 50% possibility they'll be in the conference finals. Having said all of that, let me be also clear about this. Last night was a disgraceful performance, and Steve Kerr was absolutely right to point that out. Nine minutes and 38 seconds, they went without scoring. The longest drought in about a decade. Got outscored 28 to nothing in that span where they missed 18 straight shots, nine, three, nine of them three-pointers, okay? Uh, I mean, you, those are historically bad numbers. And the other day I brought up about Andrew Wiggins on the jump when I said I'd give him away for a box of cookies. I'm not talking about his talent because I know Andrew Wiggins has talent. But for every one game he's significant, there's 20 games where it ain't there. The numbers are there. But in terms of impact, this is a former number one overall pick, and you just don't get much. And that's how I look at it. That would not be the case if Klay Thompson was there. And that's why I say what I say.